Welcome back to Home Gym Hacks and Reviews. This is part one in my Iron Master attachment series. Today I'll be going over the organizer, the leg extension leg curl, the dip, and the sit-up attachment. Stay tuned. Here's the order that I placed with Iron Master for most of the attachments. This shipment traveled nearly 3,000 miles via UPS and everything arrived in great condition in less than a week. Here is the box for the attachment organizer and I know this may sound weird, but I am just as excited about this as I am any attachment because that setup over there is not working for me. Here is how the organizer comes boxed and it's another great packing job by Iron Master. All of the hooks are in great condition, no bends. The hardware pack is double bagged to ensure you don't have nuts and bolts all over the inside of your box. And with most orders, Iron Master includes this nameplate, which you can put on your equipment or your car or wherever. The first part of the assembly is connecting the base tube to the two feet. You're going to use one washer per bolt, and that washer goes on the nut side. Then you connect the lower spine to the upper spine using these bolts. The last part of the assembly is connecting the spine to the base tube, and you want the nut side up. Here's the finished product. And just to give you some perspective of how tall this is beside the super bench, it's 20 by 24 and 60 inches tall. There are lots of different ways to organize your attachments on this piece. I would like to see some type of bushing or UHMW inside of those posts, just so that the attachments could slide in and out more easily. Of course, I could add some UHMW tape of my own anywhere along that spine or inside of those tubes. Here's what a few of the attachments look like on the organizer. Having the ability to store these vertically is space saving. Here is the Iron Master leg extension leg curl attachment for the Superbench Pro. It's about a 30 pound box that was shipped via UPS and it arrived in excellent condition. And here's what the contents of the box look like. The roller pads are individually boxed, which helps to ensure the vinyl doesn't get cut during shipping. And there's the Iron Master garage gym wish list, which I have quite a few things on there. Before I assemble the leg extension leg curl, I wanna point out a few things. First off, here are the posts that the roller pads go on, and these are not hollow. They feel pretty heavy duty, so they're not gonna bend on you when you're doing heavy leg extensions or leg curls. Here are the end caps that you'll bolt on so that the roller pads won't come off very easily. Here's the Olympic sleeve adapter. And when I was putting together the IM2000, I mentioned how I did not like standard plate posts, but I understand why they're there, and it's simply for people who don't have Olympic plates. And here are the instructions, which again, Iron Master impresses me because they're very easy to follow and very concise. After connecting the bushing and the axle bolt there, I put on the three posts for the roller pads and each of these posts is bolted on with one bolt. And there are two different settings for the roller pads. So if this setting doesn't work, I can easily adjust. And the final steps are to put on the roller pads and then to bolt them on. With the bench set at a 10 degree incline, the leg extension leg curl attachment goes in and out really easily. This attachment has a 200 pound weight capacity. The foam rollers can be adjusted into two different positions for leg curls and leg extensions. The stopper is basically a piece of really hard plastic. I would like to see this cover over the foam rollers be more durable and fit more tightly. But the piece that separates this from other leg extension leg curl attachments is this part of the frame, which because it makes contact with the floor will keep this bench from tipping forward when doing heavy leg extensions. I also like how much clearance my feet have above the ground when doing leg extensions because the bench is set at a 10 degree angle with the attachment in. Here's how the attachment performs with 45 pounds. I do miss having handles and I do miss having a back support, but the movement does feel smooth and effective. <laughs> Moving up to 90, this feels smooth and effective. The roller pads are comfortable on my legs and that clicking you hear is just the plate moving along the post. Jumping up to 140, and this feels smooth and effective. The pads feel comfortable at this weight. And here's 160. I don't really need to go heavier than that to show that the bench is durable. I would like for a collar to be included so the plates don't slide along the post, but I have plenty of collars laying around. Now for the leg curl feature. I'm not gonna go super heavy on this because today is not leg day and I don't wanna pull a muscle. And I did switch out from the 45 pound plates to the 25s. I've just found that a smaller plate works better when getting into position for leg curls. But this definitely feels good, smooth and effective. And the roller pads don't hurt my thighs or anything like that. 
Here is the dip attachment for the Superbench Pro, and it's a bar in a box. This is all there is to the attachment. It does feel very well made. Here is the finished product. It took about one minute to put together. It's just four bolts into the base tube. The dip attachment is really easy to get in and out of the bench. The welds on this attachment look good. The dip handles are not tapered, so they're 23 inches from beginning to end. The heavy duty rubber grip is a nice addition. The bar is one and a half inch diameter, and it has a 350 pound weight capacity. When the dip attachment is connected to the bench, there is minimal wobble, but I'm not worried about this tipping on me or anything like that. It feels secure enough to handle whatever I'm gonna throw at it. In its lowest setting, this dip attachment is 51 inches high, and for me at 5'9", that's a little bit high. I kinda have to jump into position, which puts my shoulders in a compromised position. So instead, I've taken a 3 4 7 inch stall mat, pre-cut it into five pieces, and then I put those pieces directly under the dip handles, and this gives me the perfect height to where I don't need to jump into position. And one of the secrets to my joint health is that I use the stop and go technique. So before I start the concentric portion of a rep, I stop. Here I secured a band from Elite FTS around the base of the bench so that I can do banded dips. In his review for the Superbench Pro, that old crazy Gluck over there at Gluck's Gym said that you couldn't do weighted dips using this attachment. Well, facing this way, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you face the opposite direction, there's no problem doing weighted dips on here. As long as you are mindful of this piece right here, you can do rack chin variations using this dip attachment. Another cool feature is the dip attachment can be turned around when connected into the super bench for back supported abdominal work. Here is the Iron Master Crunch sit up decline attachment. It's about a 10 pound box that was shipped via UPS and it arrived in excellent condition. Like the posts on the Iron Master leg extension leg curl attachment, these are not hollow, so they're definitely more heavy duty. And there is the handle to help you get out of the decline position when you're on the super bench. The Rogue Abram 2.0 could have used one of those. With this piece, you have two different tubes. You have the upper pad tube, which is the longer of the two, and that's the one that goes closest to the handle. And then you have the lower pad tube, which is the shorter one, and that goes at the bend. The sit-up attachment is really easy to get in and out of the bench. Here is a close-up of the sit-up attachment. There are six different settings. I'm really glad that a handle is included so that it's easy to get in and out of position. The foam rollers are bolted on. I would like for these to be vinyl or leather, but there is an add-on that you can get to cover those. This bench's ability to go into really sharp decline angles is one of the things that separates it from other benches on the market. And then with the sit-up attachment connected, you can do really steep back-supported sit-ups, which feel effective and comfortable. And as I mentioned in my review comparing this bench to Powertech's bench, I can go into the 70-degree angle spot and basically use this in place of having an inversion table. With the attachment locked in, a sharp decline angle feels secure and fantastic actually for barbell, smith machine, or dumbbell decline exercises. This sit-up attachment can also serve as roller pads so that you don't have to sit on the floor when doing pull downs with the IM2000. So I just lock my legs under the roller pads. The bench is at a slight incline. This setup is not perfect, and I don't think it would fit someone who is 6'5 or taller or someone with big old bodybuilder legs, but it is a decent option to get off of the floor when using the pull down on the IM2000. And for me, at my height of 5'9, it felt very secure, and I was able to lock myself in without coming off the ground. I like when home gym equipment can do more than one thing as long as it does those additional things well. And I think this is one of the reasons I'm attracted to Iron Master because their line is so versatile and many of their pieces fit seamlessly together and they are a really good value. So of all of the pieces that I cover today, the dip attachment is only $69, the sit-up attachment is $89, and the leg extension, leg curl, and organizer are both $199.
All of those are with free shipping. If you already have the Superbench or the Superbench Pro, I think any of the attachments that I covered today are a safe bet, and I have a feeling most people would be very happy with the performance and quality of each of these pieces. And even if you don't have the Superbench or the Superbench Pro, it may be worth getting because one, it's an excellent bench, and two, how versatile it is with all of the attachments. Next time in part two, I'll be covering the Hypercore attachment, the pull-up attachment, the hybrid bench pad, and maybe even the preacher attachment if it arrives on time. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so. Hit that notification bell. If you found anything in this video helpful, please consider liking it. You can find me on Instagram at Home Gym Hacks and Reviews. And if any of my videos have helped you, please consider using my affiliate links at no additional cost to you. It does help support this channel. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care.